University College Dublin, formerly known as University College Dublin a Euro National University of Ireland, Dublin is Ireland's largest university, with over 1,480 faculty and 32,000 students. It is located in Dublin, the Irish capital. The university originates in a body founded in 1854 as the Catholic University of Ireland with John Henry Newman as the first rector, reformed in 1880 and chartered in its own right in 1908. The Universities Act, 1997 renamed the constituent university as the National University of Ireland, Dublin, and a ministerial order of 1998 renamed the institution as University College Dublin, National University of Ireland, Dublin. Originally located in the centre of the metropolis, all of the university's faculties have since been relocated to a 133-hectare park campus at Belfield, four kilometres to the south of the city. A report published in May 2015 showed that the total economic output generated by UCD and its students in Ireland amounted to a 1.3 billion annually and that the total number of jobs they generated was 8,914. History the university can trace its history to the institution founded in 1854 as the Catholic University of Ireland, was established as UCD in 1880 under the auspices of the Royal University, and received its charter in 1908. Equals Catholic University of Ireland equals. In the years following Catholic emancipation in Ireland, a movement led by Dr. Paul Cullen, Archbishop of Armagh and, later, Archbishop of Dublin, attempted to provide for the first time in Ireland higher-level education that was both accessible to Irish Catholics and taught by fellow Catholics. In the 19th century, the question of denominational education in Ireland was a contentious one. It had divided Daniel O'Connell and the Young Ireland movement for many years. The Catholic hierarchy wanted to counteract the godless colleges established in Galway, Belfast and Corkin to provide a Catholic alternative to Trinity College. Dublin. Trinity was Anglican in its origins and, though Catholics had studied there since the 1780s, Trinity had maintained a religious test that excluded them from membership of the college's governing bodies. In 1850 at the Synod of Thels it was decided to open a Catholic university. As a result of these efforts a new Catholic University of Ireland was opened in 1854 and Dr. John Henry Newman was appointed as its first rector. Newman had been an integral figure in the Oxford movement in the 19th century. The Catholic University opened its doors on the Feast of St. Malachi, November 3, 1854. On that day the names of 17 students were entered on the register and Newman gave the students an address, What are we here for, and prophesied that in later years they would look back with pride on the day. The university opened with three houses, 86 St. Stephen's Green, which was known as St. Patrick's or University House, under the care of the Rev. Dr. Michael Flannery. 16 Harcourt Street, known as St. Lawrence's under the care of the Rev. Dr. James Quinn, who also had his school there. And Newman's own house, 6 Harcourt Street, known as St. Mary's under Newman's personal supervision. Amongst the first students enrolled it included the grandson of Daniel O'Euro unregistered trademark Connell. Another included William O'Shea who would go on to become a captain in the British Army and was central to the divorce crises which brought down Charles Stuart Parnell's career in trying to establish home rule for Ireland O'Shea though clashed with Newman and left to go to Trinity, however, after one year. Of the eight original students in Newman's own home, two were Irish, two English, two Scottish and two French. Among them were a French Viscount, and Irish Baronet Sir Reginald Barna Wall the son of a French countess, the grandson of a Scottish marquis, and the son of an English lord. Later were added to his care two Belgian princes and a Polish count. Many were attracted to the university on the basis of the reputation of Newman. As a private university the Catholic University was never given a royal charter, and so was unable to award recognized degrees and suffered from chronic financial difficulties. Newman left the university in 1857 and it subsequently went into a serious decline. Dr. Bartholomew Woodlock appointed rector and served until he became Bishop of Arda and Clan McNoise in 1879. In this period he attempted to secure a site of 34 acres at Clenliff West but the scheme collapsed when expansion of the railway system on the north side of Dublin cut across the site. 
He then turned his attention to expanding along St. Stephen's Green and over these years bought from number 82 to 87. This trend was reversed in 1880 with the establishment of the Royal University of Ireland. The Royal University's charter entitled all Irish students to sit the university's examinations and receive its degrees. Although in many respects the Catholic University can be viewed as a failure, the future university college inherited substantial assets from it including a successful medical school and two beautiful buildings, Newman House on St. Stephen's Green and the adjoining University Church. Equals Foundation of University College, Dublin equals. In order to avail of the benefits of the Royal University of Ireland arrangement, the Catholic University was reformed as University College, Dublin. The college rapidly attracted many of the best students and academics in Ireland including Fr. Gerard Manley Hopkins and James Joyce and quickly began to outperform the other three colleges in the Royal University system. In the 15 years before the establishment of the National University the number of first-class distinctions in arts awarded by the Royal University to University College was 702 compared with a total of 486 awarded to the combined Queen's Colleges of Belfast. Galway and Cork. Many of the Collegia Euro unregistered trademark S staff and students during this period would later contribute substantially to the formation and development of the future Irish state, the most famous being Francis G. E. Skeffington, Patrick Pierce, Hugh Kennedy, Owen McNeil, Kevin O'Higgins, Tom Kettle, James Ryan, Douglas Hyde, and John A. Costello. Student unrest occurred during this period especially during loyalist speeches by the Chancellor, the Twelfth Earl of Meth, and the playing of God Save the King at conferring ceremonies. In 1908, the Royal University was dissolved and a new National University of Ireland founded to replace it. This new university was brought into existence with three constituent university colleges, Dublin, Galway and Cork. By this time the college campus consisted of a number of locations in and around St. Stephen's Green in Dublin city centre, the main sites being Earls Fort Terrace, Cecilia Street, College of Science Marion Street, and Newman House on St. Stephen's Green. Following the establishment of the NUI, Dr. D. J. Coffey, M.B., a UI, Professor of Physiology, Catholic University Medical School, became the first president of UCD. Under the Universities Act, 1997, University College Dublin was established as a constituent university within the National University of Ireland framework. Equals UCD and the Irish War of Independence equals. UCD Decade of Centenary's website celebrates 100 years since the steps towards independence gathered momentum, in which many staff, Students and graduates of University College Dublin played a pivotal role in the discourse and actions that took place. UCD is a major holder of archives of national and international significance relating to the period. In 1913 in response to the formation of the Ulster Volunteers, Owen McNeill, Professor of Early Irish History, called for the formation of an Irish nationalist force to counteract it. The Irish Volunteers were formed later that year and MacNeil was elected its Chief of Staff. At the outbreak of World War I in view of the Home Rule Act 1914 and the political perception that it might not be implemented, the Act was suspended for the duration of the war the leader of the Home Rule Party, John Redmond, urged the Irish Volunteers to support the British war effort as a way of supporting Irish Home Rule. This effort on behalf of Home Rule included many UCD staff and students. Many of those who opposed this move later participated in the Easter Rising. In this way UCD was a reflection of the Irish nationalist community in general, with several staff and students participating in the Rising, such as Patrick Pierce, Thomas McConar, Michael Hayes and James Ryan, and a smaller number, including Tom Kettle and Willie Redmond, fighting for the British in World War I during the same period. Many UCD staff, Students and alumni fought in the Irish War of Independence that followed the Rising. Following the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty for UCD graduates joined the government of the Irish Free State. The university's graduates have since had a large impact on Irish political life. Four of the nine presidents of Ireland and six of the thirteen Chorsire have been either former staff or graduates. Equals move to Belfield equals. 
By the early 1940s the college had become the largest third-level institution in the state. In an effort to cope with the increased numbers unsuccessful attempts were made to expand the existing city center campus. It was finally decided that the best solution would be to move the college to a much larger greenfield site outside of the city center and create a modern campus university. This move started in the early 1960s when the Faculty of Science moved to the new 1.4 square kilometers park campus at Belfield in a suburb on the south side of Dublin. The Belfield campus has since developed into a complex of modern buildings and inherited Georgian townhouses, accommodating the colleges of the university as well as its student residences and many leisure and sporting facilities. One of UCD's previous locations, the Royal College of Science on Merrion Street is now the location of the renovated Irish government building, where the Department of the Tower Sage is situated. University College Dublin had also a site in Glasnevin for much of the last century, the Albert Agricultural College, the southern part of which is now occupied by Dublin City University, the northern part is where Ballymun Town is located. Equals architecture equals, the new campus was largely designed by A&E Wechert and Partners Architects and includes several notable structures, including the UCD Water Tower which was built in 1972 by John Paul Construction. The tower won the 1979 Irish Concrete Society Award. It stands 60 metres high with a dodecahedron tank atop a pentagonal pillar. The tower is part of the UCD Environmental Research Station. The tower's tank has a capacity of 150,000 gallons. Equals timeline equals, 1854, the Catholic University of Ireland opens with Blessed John Henry Newman as the first rector. It is located on St. Stephen's Green. 1855, the Catholic University Medical School was opened in 1855 in Cecilia Street. 1856, University Church was opened in 1856. Apart from religious services it was used also for public university functions and occasions such as the opening of academic sessions and the making of awards. 1861, Dr. Bartholomew Woodlock appointed rector and served until he became Bishop of Arda and Clan McNoise in 1879. 1879, Monsignor Henry Neville, Dean of Cork appointed rector. 1880, the University Education Act 1879 brought in by Disraeli's government led to the establishment of the Royal University of Ireland which was a non-teaching, degree-awarding institution. 1882-83, the Catholic University reorganized in order to avail of the indirect endowment from the state through the Royal University of Ireland. The St. Stephen's Green Institution was renamed University College and its management was transferred to the Jesuits. 1883-1888, F. A. William Delaney S.J. appointed first president of University College. 1908, Irish Universities Act brought into being the National University of Ireland with its constituent university colleges. Dublin, Galway and Cork, and led to the demise of the Royal University and the Jesuit-run University College. Dr. Dennis Coffey appointed first president of reformed UCD. Coffey was to hold the position for 30 years. The medical school in Cecilia Street became the UCD medical faculty. The campus covers, Earls Fort Terrace, Cecilia Street, College of Science Marion Street, Albert College Glasnevin and St. Stephen's Green. 1908, the Faculty of Commerce established. 1911, land donated by Lord Ivo helps the university expand in Earls Fort Terrace Hatch Street slash St. Stephen's Green. Ivo Gardens are a part of this donation. 1913, University Park, Tenure became the base of UCD sports clubs between 1913 and 1934, although the landlord would not sell the site to the university. 1916, a number of junior staff and students participated in the Easter Rising. 1926 University Education Act transferred the Royal College of Science in Merrion Street and Albert Agricultural College in Glasnevin to UCD. 1933, Belfield House on 44 acres is bought for sporting purposes. 1940, Dr. Arthur Conway appointed president. During this period various plans were developed but failed to succeed to expand along Ivo Gardens, Hatch Street and Earls Fort Terrace, 1964, Dr. Jeremiah Hogan appointed president. 
science moves into new campus at Belfield. UCD becomes the first university in Europe to launch a MBA program. 1967, Minister for Education, Don Otho Malley, proposes plan to merge UCD and Trinity. 1969-1970, Faculties of Commerce, Arts and Law move to Belfield. 1972, Dr. Thomas Murphy appointed president. 1973, the library opens. 1980, Rishview and 17.4 acres bought. Architecture moves in there. 1981, sports complex opens. 1986, Dr. Patrick Masterson appointed president. 1990, engineering building opens. Most, but not all of the Earls Fort Terrace, engineering department moves to Belfield. 1990, Carrisfort College, Blackrock on 19 acres bought and is the location of the Smurfit Graduate School of Business. First Student Village opened. 1992 Second Student Village opened. The Center for Film Studies established. 1993, Dr. Art Cosgrove appointed president. 1994, O'Reilly Hall opened. 2003, Nova UCD, a 110 million euro innovation and technology transfer center opened. The purpose-built center was funded by a public-private partnership. UCD purchased the Phillips site and buildings adjacent to the Belfield campus at Clenscat to facilitate the relocation of the departments of civil and agricultural and food engineering from Earls Fort Terrace, bringing more of the remaining off-campus elements of the university to Belfield. 2004 Dr. Hugh Brady appointed president. UCD celebrates 150th anniversary. 2006, UCD Horizons begins. 2007, with the completion of the final phase of the Health Sciences Building, the last of the departments remaining at Earls Fort Terrace relocate to Belfield. 2009, Innovation Alliance announced between Trinity and UCD. 2010, NCAD and UCD forge stronger links. The two institutions will form an academic alliance with new joint courses and research across common areas of interest. NCAD will become a recognized college of UCD. NCAD will remain on its current site and retaining institutional autonomy. 2012, expanded student and sports center opened containing an Olympic swimming pool, cinema and a new gym. 2012, UCD became embroiled in controversy over its sudden closure and destruction of the athletics track and field facilities beside Belfield House less than a day later. The track had been funded and built using private funding. 2013, UCD O'Brien Center for Science opened replacing much of the 1960s science infrastructure. UCD Sutherland School of Law opened to replace Roebuck Castle for the law faculty at the southwestern end of the campus. 2014, Professor Andrew J. Deeks appointed president, the first Australian to hold the highest office in an Irish university. 2015, UCD opens Global Centre in US to enable UCD pursue its new global engagement strategy which aims to place the university in the top 10 in the world for global engagement. Academic equals colleges and schools equals. The university consists of seven colleges, their associated schools and multiple research institutes and centers. Each college also has its own graduate school, for postgraduates. List of colleges and their respective schools, College of Agriculture, Food Science and Veterinary Medicine, School of Agriculture and Food Science, School of Veterinary Medicine, College of Arts and Celtic Studies, School of Archaeology, School of Art History and Cultural Policy, School of Classics, School of English, Drama and Film, School of History and Archives, School of Irish, Celtic Studies, Irish Folklore and Linguistics, School of Languages and Literatures, School of Music, College of Business and Law, School of Business, Quinn's School of Business, Michael Smurfett Graduate School of Business, School of Law, College of Engineering and Architecture, School of Architecture, School of Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering, School of Biosystems Engineering, School of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering, School of Electrical, Electronic and Communications Engineering, School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering, 
College of Health Sciences, School of Medicine and Medical Science, School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems, School of Public Health, Physiotherapy and Population Science, College of Human Sciences, School of Applied Social Science, School of Economics, School of Education, School of Geography, Planning and Environmental Policy, School of Information and Library Studies, School of Philosophy, School of Politics and International Relations, School of Psychology, School of Social Justice, School of Sociology, College of Science, School of Biology and Environmental Science, School of Biomolecular and Biomedical Science, School of Chemistry and Chemical Biology, School of Computer Science and Informatics, School of Geological Sciences, School of Mathematics and Statistics, School of Physics. Equals UCD Horizons equals at the beginning of the 2005-2006 academic year, UCD introduced the Horizons curriculum, which completely semesterized and modularized all undergraduate programs enhancing the quality and flexibility of the standard university education. Under the Horizons curriculum, new undergraduate students have greater choice in what exactly they study in their program. Under the new curriculum, Students choose 10 core modules from their specific subject area and two other modules, which can be chosen from any other program across the entire university. For example, a student studying Stage 1 Commerce as his primary degree program can also choose one module from the Stage 1 Law program. Reputation equals Patrons and Benefactors equals The initial patrons and benefactors of the university were the Catholic Church. Undergraduate fees are funded in part by the Irish state and by students themselves. Amongst the most recent patrons include actor Gregory Peck who was a founding patron of the School of Film. Other benefactors include Lotch Lan Quinn, Michael Smurfett, Peter Sutherland, Tony O'Reilly and Dennis O'Brien. Equals alumni equals. Among its most accomplished alumni and faculty are three former presidents of Ireland. Douglas Hyde. Patrick Hillary, and Kerb Paul Adarley. V. V. Jiri, the fourth president of India studied law between 1913 to 1916 before being expelled from Ireland. Five former Chorzaya of Ireland attended UCD, John A. Costello, Charles Horfey, Garrett Fitzgerald, John Bruton and Brian Cowan. Irish revolutionaries Patrick Pierce and Thomas McDonough Two of the leaders of the Easter Rising and signatories of Proclamation of the Irish Republic were a student and member of faculty at the university, respectively. As well as former President, Douglas Hyde and Padraig Pearce, UCD Professor Owen McNeill had a key role in the Gaelic revival in Ireland. Contemporary politicians include five of the 17 members of Cabinet of the Government of Ireland. These include Michael Noonan and Ruary Quinn. Noel Kinsler, a psychology graduate, is the Speaker of the Senate of Canada. In international affairs UCD's alumni include C.N. McBride, one of the founders of Amnesty International and recipient of the 1974 Nobel Peace Prize. UCD law graduate Peter Sutherland, one of the major negotiators in the foundation of the World Trade Organization, served as its first Director General. Former student Ryan Crocker, a career ambassador within the United States Foreign Service, served as ambassador to Afghanistan and Iraq amongst other places and is a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Within the institutional frameworks and politics of the European Union UCD has a number of figures. Including Sutherland, six of Ireland's nine European commissioners are alumni. Catherine Day is the current Secretary General of the European Commission. Alumnus and faculty member Professor James Dooge was chairman of what became known as the Dooge Report, which examined the institutional questions in transitioning to the Single European Act, the first major change in the Europeans' projects frameworks since the Treaty of Rome. Since the foundation of the Irish state in 1922, UCD has produced the most justices of the Supreme Court of Ireland, the most chief justices and the most attorneys general of Ireland. Nine of the eleven current justices of the Supreme Court are UCD alumni. Examples of other well-known UCD alumni include writers James Joyce the author of Ulysses, Flann O'Brien, Combe Tar Cube Debian and Roddy Doyle. Some notable poets to attend include Gerard Manley Hopkins, 
John Montague and John Jordan. Actors Gabriel Byrne, Carol O'Connor, Dan O'Halley, Brendan Gleeson and Chris O'Dowd all attended the university. Film directors include Oscar winner Neil Jordan and Jim Sheridan. Comedians, Dermot Morgan and Dara Brin were major figures in the university's debating scene for many years. Amongst the number of humanitarians to attend include, John O'Shea founder of Goal and Tom Arnold the CEO of Concern Worldwide. Former religious figures include Cardinals Toma Esafiak and Desmond Connell as well as the founding rector Cardinal Newman. As well as the aforementioned Peter Sutherland, alumni involved in business include David J. O'Reilly, formerly CEO and chairman of the Chevron Corporation, Niall Fitzgerald, former CEO and chairman of Unilever, Pierce Leon, founder and president of Altec and Tony O'Reilly, who previously served as the CEO of H.J. Hines Company as well as owning independent news and media. UCD has produced a number of well-known athletes, mainly in the popular Irish field sports of Gaelic games and rugby union. Many played within the university's club sides such as Brian O'Driscoll who played for University College Dublin RFC. The club has produced 13 British and Irish Lions including O'Driscoll, with several others attending as students. Amongst the most notable Gaelic footballers to attend are C.N. Murphy, a medical school graduate, a member of the Gaelic football team of the millennium. Notable hurlers include Nicky Rackard, included in the hurling team of the century. Kevin Moran, formerly a Gaelic football but also a soccer player for Manchester United, graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce in 1976. Former faculty include Dennis Jennings of the School of Computing, considered to be an Internet pioneer for his leadership of NSFNET, the network that became the Internet backbone. Other notable faculty include Professor Patrick Lynch, Roger Yates and Jan Angstrom Makassirich as well as Professor of Science and Society James Heckman who won the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences in 2000. Equals rankings equals, the university is consistently ranked as one of the best universities in Ireland on worldwide metrics. Academic Ranking of World Universities 2015. 301 to 400 globally. Times Higher Education World University Rankings 2015 to 2016 176th globally QS World University Rankings 2015 154th globally The Michael Smurfett Graduate Business School of UCD is rated regularly as being among the 100 best schools for business or economics worldwide Financial Times Global MBA Ranking 2015 73rd Globally. Financial Times European Business School Rankings 2014. 35th in Europe. The Economist 2014. 63rd Globally. Equals Awards Equals, The Sunday Times University of the Year 2006. Research and Innovation, The University is a leading research center within Ireland with a research income of a 114.1 million during 2013-14. UCD's research community of approximately 1,150 academic staff, 630 research-funded staff, and 1640 PhD students work in the various schools and research institutes of the university. Equals research institutes equals. Amongst the research institutes of the university are Center for Research in Infectious Diseases Center for Synthesis and Chemical Biology, Clinton Institute for American Studies, Charles Institute, Irish Institute for Chinese Studies, Complex and Adaptive Systems Laboratory Center for Cybersecurity and Cybercrime Investigation, Conway Institute of Biomolecular and Biomedical Research Center for Development Studies, Center for Disability Studies Center for Drama Studies Center for the History of the Media, UCD Clinical Research Center Dublin European Institute, UCD Earth Institute, Equality Studies Center, Institute of Food and Health, Geary Institute, Humanities Institute of Ireland, Institute for British Irish Studies, Institute of Criminology Irish Centre for Commercial Law Studies, John Hume Institute for Global Irish Studies, Marquia L. Leclerc Copywriter I Institute, National Institute of Sport and Health, O'Can Centre for Film Studies, Full AZ List of Research Institutes and Centres. Equals external collaborations equals, 
Wide partnerships in which the university is involved include, Adaptive Information Cluster Center for Innovation and Structural Change Center for Research on Adaptive Nanostructures and Nanodevices, CTVR Center for Telecommunications Value Chain Driven Research. National Digital Research Center. National Institute for Bioprocessing Research and Training. Program for Research on Grid Enabled Computational Physics of Natural Phenomena. Advanced Biomimetic Materials for Solar Energy Conversion with the University of Limerick, Dublin City University, Etricity, OBD Tech and Celtic Catalysts. Equals current and former campus companies equals, the most prominent university-related company is the IE Domain Registry. Many of the university's academics continue to sit on the board of directors. The university originally gained control of the EA domain in the late 1980s. There are a number of related companies, many concentrated as the Nova UCD initiative, to commercialize research results and opportunities. Many of these reflect the university's expertise in the life sciences and information technology. These companies include, Alivoca, APC, Analytical Drug and Data, Brand, Bianca MED, Bioplastic, Biosensia, Broadcast Learning, Business Scale, Celtic Catalysts, Changing Worlds, Cornerstone Knowledge International, Cravan, Dialog, E, Learning Union, Equilum, Equinum, Einzolf, Avinset, Haystacks, Innovios, Intelligent Health Systems, and Aldana Biotech is a joint group with Dublin City University. Java Clinical Research, Lightwave Technologies, Locomotion, Neosura, Novus, Oximum, Spectral Signatures, Visor Consulting, Wattix. Student Life, from 2013, there is a new bar on campus in the Student Union building and near the gym. This follows a year with no campus bar. There is, however, also a faculty bar in Newman Building. Equals Sport Equals UCD has over 60 sports clubs based on campus with 28 sports scholarships awarded annually. UCD competes in the most popular Irish field sports of Gaelic games, hurling, soccer and rugby union. UCD is the only Irish university to compete in both the major Irish leagues for rugby and soccer with University College Dublin AFC and University College Dublin RFC competing in the top leagues of their respective competitions. UCD GAA have won the most Sigerson Cup whilst they have the second most Fitzgibbon Cup wins, both the major university competitions in the sports in Ireland. UCD Sport annually compete in the Colours match with Trinity College, Dublin in a range of sports, most notably in rugby. The rugby side has won 35 of the 57 contests. UCD RFC has produced 13 British and Irish Lions as well as 70 Irish Rugby International and 5 for other nations. Whilst top flight soccer is semi-professional with many players going to England, UCD is still the only university soccer side in the top division of a Western European league. A result of particular note came in 1985, when UCD drew with Everton FC. In the first round of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, which Everton went on to win. Other notable team sports in the college basketball side, UCD Marion, victors in the 2012 Irish Basketball Super League. The Belfield campus is home to a wide range of sports facilities. Facilities include the National Hockey Stadium and UCD Bowler 3000 capacity stadium used for rugby and soccer. UCD has one of the largest fitness centers in the country, squash courts, tennis courts, an indoor rifle range, over 20 sports pitches, an indoor climbing wall and two large sports halls. The sports center was added to in 2012 with the competition of an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a tepid arium and a revamped fitness center as part of the redevelopment of the UCD Student Center. The university hosted the IFI US World Inter-University Games in October 2006. Sport clubs in UCD, UCD American Football equals Leinster Rugby equals, Leinster Rugby's headquarters and training facility are located on campus, housing the academy, senior squad and administrative arms of the rugby club. Their facilities include an office block and a high-performance facility, located next to the Institute of Sport and Health. They also use UCD's pitches. 
it was completed in 2012 at a cost of 2.5 million euro. Equal societies equals. There are currently over 50 student societies in the university. They cater for many interests ranging from large-scale party society such as AGSOC, ArtSOC, Commerce and Economic Society, ISS, INSOC, Indian Society, and MSOC, Malaysian Society, who have the largest student communities of Indian and Malaysian students in Ireland. There are also religiously interested groups such as the Christian Union, the Islamic Society and the Secular Humanist Society, a television station campus television network, academic-oriented societies like the Economic Society Philosophy Society, Mathsuk, Classical Society, and Ankaman Gaelch, an Irish language society and such charities as St. Vincent de Paul, UCDSVP. There are two main societies for international students, ESNUCD and the International Student Society. There is also UCD Japanese Society, Ireland's biggest student-run Japanese society. Many UCD societies engage in voluntary work on campus and across Dublin. For example, the UCD Student Legal Service is a student-run society that provides free legal information clinics to the students of UCD. Irish political parties are represented on campus including Young Fine Gael, the Grafiana Fáil and UCD Labour Youth. The college has two debating unions. The oldest societies are the Literary and Historical Society, which is currently in its 160th session, and the University College Dublin Law Society which was founded in 1911. Both of these societies are the major debating societies of the college and two of the leading ones in Ireland. Ireland's most prestigious competition, the Irish Times debate the Earl and H has 11 team wins and 12 individual ones with the Law Society achieving two team wins and two individual wins respectively. The two societies have also been successful further afield at the UK and Ireland John Smith Memorial Mace with the L and H winning five titles and Law Zoc two titles. UCD has hosted the World University Debating Championships twice, most recently in 2006. At the start of the December 13 academic year, the Literary and Historical Society achieved a membership of 5143 becoming the largest student society in UCD and in Europe. The UCD Dramsoc is the University Drama Society, it is noted for an active membership and a number of notable alumni. The university also has a successful symphonia called University College Dublin Symphony Orchestra. Equals Students Union equals. The Students Union, UCDSU in the college has been an active part of campaigns run by the National Union, USI and has played a highly significant role in the life of the college since its foundation in 1974. The union has also taken significant stances on issues of human rights that have hit the headlines in Ireland and around the world, particularly in becoming the first institution in the world to implement a ban of Coca-Cola products in student union-controlled shops on the basis of alleged human and trade union rights abuses in Colombia. This ban was overturned in 2010. The union's main governing body is the Union Council which meets every two weeks during term. Council membership consists of 180 plus seats for class representatives, 10 directly elected officers of the union executive and 5 executive officers elected by Union Council at its first meeting each year. Their term commences on July 1 in the year of their election and lasts for 12 months. Sabbatical elections take place in late February of each year. To date, students from arts, science and law have predominated in holding council seats. Equals student publications and media equals. Newspapers, two student newspapers are currently published at the university, the Broadsheet University Observer and the Tabloid College Tribune. Equals the University Observer equals, the University Observer won the Newspaper of the Year Award at the National Student Media Awards in April 2006 an accolade it has achieved many times, most recently in April 2014. Founded in 1994, its first editors were Pat Lee and comedian Dara Brin. Many figures in Irish journalism have held the position of editor including the Irish Times deputy news editor Roddy O'Sullivan, the Sunday Business Post political correspondent Pat Lee, AFP business reporter Enda Curran, 
Sunday Independent Chief Reporter Daniel McConnell, RTA Pamil News reporter Samantha Library and TV researcher Alan Tawney. The efforts of his staff were noted by the prestigious Guardian Student Media Awards with a nomination for Best Newspaper, the first Irish student publication to receive such recognition. In 2001, in addition to several Irish National Student Media Awards, the University Observer under McConnell and Curran took the runner-up prize for Best Publication at the Guardian Student Media Awards in London. To date, the University Observer has won 29 Irish Student Media Awards. The main sections within the paper are, Campus, National and International News, Comment, Opinion and Sport. In addition, each edition includes a pull-out arts and culture supplement called O2, with music interviews, travel, fashion and colour pieces. The University Observer is funded by the UCD Students' Union, but its content remains editorially independent, barring one union page per issue. Equals College Tribune equals, The College Tribune was founded in 1989, with the assistance of noted political commentator Vincent Brown. Then an evening student at the university, Brown noted the lack of an independent media outlet for students and staff and set about rectifying this with the establishment of a student newspaper. The paper was initially established with links to the Sunday Tribune, though over time these links faded and ultimately, the Tribune would long outlast its national counterpart. The paper has since its inception supported itself financially through commercial advertising in its print edition. Operating under such a model allows the paper and its staff to maintain genuine editorial independence from both university authorities and the students' union. The Tribune has been recognized on a number of occasions at the National Student Media Awards, particularly in sports writing, of which the paper maintains a strong tradition. In addition to winning Student Newspaper of the Year at the 1996 USI and Irish Independent Media Awards, then editor Connor Lally was also awarded Student Journalist of the Year 2003 saw Tribune stalwart Peter Lothwin Diversity Writer of the Year at the Guardian Student Media Awards, to date the only Irish-based recipient of a Guardian Award. Former editors include Connor Lally, crime correspondent of the Irish Times, Sunday Times journalist Richard Oakley, former Sunday Tribune reporter Eogan Rice, Paul Lynch, film critic at the Sunday Tribune. Irish independent soccer correspondent Daniel MacDonnell, and brothers Gary and Fergus O'Shea, both currently with the Irish Sun. Other contributors include Dave Kelly, now rugby correspondent with the Irish Independent, Catherine Smith a former associate producer with BBC Current Affairs and Blath Ned Healy, UK editor at Mashable. College Tribune sections include news, sport, features, arts, film and entertainment, music, fashion business, and politics and innovation. These are contained in both the paper proper, and its arts culture supplement The Trib. The paper is also noted among students for the launch of The Evil Gerald, a paper within a paper. The Gerald was succeeded by the College Turbine in 2003, and has featured such satirical stories as the provisional IRA dropping its pursuit of a united Ireland in favour of occupation of the Isle of Man and Osama bin Laden stealing the magic door from Bosco allowing him access to anywhere on the planet. Radio and Television, UCD also has a student radio station, Belfield FM, broadcasting at selected times throughout the academic year across the campus and surrounds on FM and online on the station's website. The station is independently run by the UCD Broadcasting Society and has produced well-known Irish radio presenters such as Ryan Tubridy and Rick O'Shea and Barry Dunn of 98 Fathoms. Belfield FM is the successor to UCD FM, which was operated within the Entertainment Office of the Students' Union as a service for students. Initially launched in 1992, the station rebranded in 2000 and has operated since then under the current name. As a result of the implementation of the Students' Union's new constitution at the beginning of the 2012-2013 academic year, the station will, for the first time operate as a fully independent media outlet. At the beginning of the academic year 2005-2006, the creation of a student television station, titled Campus Television Network was announced. The station began creating programs in November 2006 and distributing them online at its old website, 
and across the campus in the student bars and student center. CTN does not actually broadcast any shows themselves either through the college network or via traditional analog or satellite methods, rather it allows downloads and viewing of programs on their website and distributes DVDs to on-campus venues. It currently produces a variety of shows from their entertainment show and this to their fashion shows new look and slick. CTN can be viewed on its new website at www.ctnea. Historical Newspapers, The Student, University Gazette, Confrontation, Campus, UCD News, Student Voice, Gaushout, Hibernia, Comthram Fane, Comma. Equals University College Dublin Scarf Colors Equals, in later years students have been given a scarf of St. Patrick a Euro unregistered trademark S Blue, Navy and Saffron at the President's Welcome Ceremony when they are officially welcomed. These colors have replaced faculty colors and are now worn at graduation also. Presidents of UCD Dr. Dennis Coffey, Dean of Medicine Dr. Arthur W. Conway, Dr. Michael Tierney, Dr. Jeremiah Hogan, Dr. Thomas Murphy, Dr. Patrick Masterson, Dr. Art Cosgrove, Dr. Hugh Brady, Professor Andrew J. Deeks. UCD in popular culture. Equals in literature equals. James Joyce a Euro unregistered trademark as novel A portrait of the artist as a young man is partially set in UCD where Stephen Douglas is enrolled as a student. Joyce's posthumously published autobiographical novel Stephen Hero contains stories of his time in UCD. Flan O'Brien a Euro unregistered trademark as novel at Swim Two Birds features a UCD student who writes a meta novel wherein the author is put on trial by the characters of his novel. My Finchie's novel, Circle of Friends, deals with three female friends starting college in UCD in the 1950s. However, shots of Trinity College were used in the 1995 film. The second Ross Carol Kelly novel, The Teenage Dirtbag Years, follows Ross as he enters UCD. Equals and music equals, Christy Moore wrote a tongue-in-cheek song about UCD's literary and historical society called The Auditor of the Earl and H. Johnny Jurex and the Punk Pistols, predecessors to Rocky de Valera and the Gravediggers had a song called Anarchy in Belfield, which they played at their only gig during Rag Week in 1976. Equals in film and television equals, Connor McPherson's third film Saltwater was filmed in Belfield, UCD. In Boston Legal, Season 2, Episode 21 Word Salad Day there is a reference to a study from UCD that found that the effects of divorce on children are far more damaging than the death of a parent. See also, Education in the Republic of Ireland, List of Universities in the Republic of Ireland, List of University College Dublin People. Notes and References External links, Official Website, Hidden History of UCD, Blog Dedicated to Collating the Radical and Social History of UCD, UCD Rugby, Catholic Encyclopedia, University College Dublin, Students' Union website, the University Observer Online, the College Tribune Online, University Scarf Colours, University College Dublin, formerly known as University College Dublin a Euro National University of Ireland, Dublin is Ireland's largest university, with over 1,480 faculty and 32,000 students. It is located in Dublin, the Irish capital. The university originates in a body founded in 1854 as the Catholic University of Ireland with John Henry Newman as the first rector, reformed in 1880 and chartered in its own right in 1908. The Universities Act, 1997 renamed the constituent university as the National University of Ireland, Dublin, and a ministerial order of 1998 renamed the institution as University College Dublin, National University of Ireland, Dublin. Originally located in the centre of the metropolis, all of the university's faculties have since been relocated to a 133-hectare park campus at Belfield, clashed with Newman and left to go to Trinity, however, after one year. Of the eight original students in Newman's own home, two were Irish, two English, two Scottish and two French. Among them were a French Viscount, and Irish Baronet Sir Reginald Barnawall, the son of a French Countess the grandson of a Scottish Marquis, and the son of an English Lord. 
later were added to his care two Belgian princes and a Polish count. Many were attracted to the university on the basis of the reputation of Newman. As a private university the Catholic University was never given a royal charter, and so was unable to award recognized degrees and suffered from chronic financial difficulties. Newman left the university in 1857 and it subsequently went into a serious decline. Dr. Bartholomew Woodlock appointed rector and served until he became Bishop of Arda and Clan McNoise in 1879. In this period, of denominational education in Ireland was a contentious one. It had divided Daniel O'Connell and the Young Ireland movement for many years. The Catholic hierarchy wanted to counteract the godless colleges established in Galway, Belfast and Corkin to provide a Catholic alternative to Trinity College, Dublin. Trinity was Anglican in its origins and, though Catholics had studied there since the 1780s, Trinity had maintained a religious test that excluded them from membership of the college's governing bodies. In 1850 at the Synod of Thels it was decided to open a Catholic university. As a result of these efforts a new Catholic University of Ireland was opened in 1854 and Dr. John Henry Newman was appointed as its first rector. Newman had been an integral figure in the Oxford movement in the 19th century. The Catholic University opened its doors on the Feast of St. Malachi, November 3, 1854 four kilometers to the south of the city. A report published in May 2015 showed that the total economic output generated by UCD and its students in Ireland amounted to a 1.3 billion annually and that the total number of jobs they generated was 8,914. History the university can trace its history to the institution founded in 1854 as the Catholic University of Ireland, was established as UCD in 1880 under the auspices of the Royal University, and received its charter in 1908. Equals Catholic University of Ireland equals. In the years following Catholic emancipation in Ireland, a movement led by Dr. Paul Cullen, Archbishop of Armagh and, later, Archbishop of Dublin, attempted to provide for the first time in Ireland higher-level education that was both accessible to Irish Catholics and taught by fellow Catholics. In the 19th century, the Qu On that day the names of 17 students were entered on the register and Newman gave the students an address, what are we here for, and prophesied that in later years they would look back with pride on the day. The university opened with three houses, 86 St. Stephen's Green, which was known as St. Patrick's or University House, under the care of the Rev. Dr. Michael Flannery. 16 Harcourt Street, known as St. Lawrence's under the care of the Rev. Dr. James Quinn, who also had his school there. And Newman's own house, 6 Harcourt Street, known as St. Mary's under Newman's personal supervision. Amongst the first students enrolled it included the grandson of Daniel O'Euro unregistered trademark Connell. Another included William O'Shea who would go on to become a captain in the British Army and was central to the divorce crises which brought down Charles Stuart Parnell's career in trying to establish home rule for Ireland O'Shea though 